Hey guys, free pick time. All right, back with another free play. So today I have a hockey play for you guys. Fairly busy day, including another two unit play. So we have another two unit play, guys. We have absolutely been annihilating these. We are 62 wins and 21 losses over the last 83. Far and away the best run in my sports betting career. And it continues, guys. Uh, today's play, lots and lots of value, okay? So... I come out and I talk about creating a story, creating the narrative of why we are betting these games, okay? Everything should line up, right? The more things that line up, the more edge you have, the higher the unit sizing. And in today's particular game, I can look at this and I can say that A, the line was way off from where it should have been. B, um, there has been some steam on this side. C, I have so many systems on this. My Systems are basically lit up like a bloody Christmas tree right now. And finally, it just makes sense, this play, okay? This is just a common sense play. There's not a ton of them out there in sports betting. This one is, okay? Um, needless to say, we've been crushing it, guys. 62 and 21. Love this play. But at the end of the day, I talk about the story, creating a story, start to finish, and doing that 30-second elevator pitch, where if I get onto an elevator and someone says, Bender, what do you like tonight? And I can say in that 30-second trip up or down in the, in the elevator, I can look them in the eyes and say, this is why I like that. And if my story is clear and concise and has a purpose, then, you know, at the end of the day, they should leave the elevator saying, yeah, you know what? That makes a lot of sense, right? That's what we have here. And that's what I try to create with every game, okay? I try to walk through and find numerous different things. And at the end of the day, you know, when you get... You know, you maybe have a system here and, you know, it's good. And then, you know, maybe like nice money distribution. You think the line's off a little bit. Okay, maybe the beginnings of a play, right? But when you get a bunch of things that all line up, now you know that you've found value. You know that you have a play. And then it's just simply determining how much value do we have? At what percentage will this game win? How much edge do we have? And then that is when you just apply the simple mathematics of our unit sizing, right? Core unit, half unit, one unit, two unit, a once in a blue moon, a three unit. It is very straightforward, simple mathematics at that point, okay? But the first part is the more challenging side. That is the building of the story. That is making sure that while you're building that story, you don't fall in love, okay? Because you're building this story, you're building that narrative, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, well, no, there's actually three steam bets on the other side. Why is that, okay? You don't want to just glance over that and say, well, I just won't put that in my story. That's pretty naughty storytelling. What you want to do is acknowledge that, okay? Um, and basically, when you go into a play, it's often advantageous to go in after you believe there's value and try to talk yourself out of it. Try to find reasons why not to bet it. And if you can't really find a lot of reasons why you shouldn't bet it, then you're probably on the right side to start with, right? All right, guys. So again, fairly busy day. Another two unit play, benderwins.com for the full card, guys. It gets you my full card every single day. All my masterclass educational videos and the Bender Wins Guide to Professional Sports Betting to make sure you're doing things the right way. I know for many sports bettors, the difference between being a winning and losing player long term might just come down to a few minor tweaks in the way you're betting. Change that up, maximize your profits, maximize your ROI, and over the long term, you will make a lot of money. Is why I say, guys, for three bucks a day, you're not going to find a better value out there anywhere. All right. So today, guys, um, we are going to go with the Florida Panthers. Uh, the line has moved a little bit from where we got it. Um, we had this minus 143 in Masterclass. This line is now up to minus 155. Still think there's a good amount of value on this play. Um, wouldn't bet it much over, say, 165, if it even gets it. I don't know. Look, I've, I've come up before and I told you guys, look, this line's wrong. It's going to move. I still think, I think at 165, you're going to have buyers for Leafs. You're going to have buyback. So I don't see it going, it's not going to 170. I would be very, very, very surprised if it does. Um, but that being said, guys, I still think this is the right side of it to be on for value. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to be cheering for my Leafs in the playoffs. Doesn't mean we're not going to bet against them, okay? Uh, doesn't mean, I mean, this is kind of a meaningless game for them at this point. But um, yeah, anyway. That is a play, guys. So, again, just real quick recap. When you're capping games, uh, a couple things, okay? Build the story, okay? Create start to finish where you can, someone can ask you the question, you know, why are you betting Miami? Why are you betting Houston? Why are you betting? The, and you should be able to say, well, 
this, 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 and this. Not just one thing, not just come out and be like, well, you know, they're due, right? No. You want to be able to create um, a story that people can follow along. And on the flip side to that too, when you're creating that story, make sure that you're accurately creating that story. Make sure that, you know, you haven't found your suspect and you're doing everything you can to prove him guilty rather than investigating the case, okay? Investigate the case, find out if this really has value. If it doesn't, no FOMO, move on, forget it, okay? It was looking like a play, now it isn't, see you later. Thousands and thousands and thousands of more games available to us this year. That is the best thing, okay? When the day ends, a new day begins. There's more bets, okay? You don't have to fall in love. You don't have to force plays. And often, guys, I can tell you this from personal experience, if you don't listen to that little voice in your head sometimes, okay? That is the collection of all your past experience, all your knowledge. That little voice that's coming out and saying, yeah, you like this as a play, but if something doesn't feel right. You know, that steam on the other side doesn't feel right. The money distribution looks terrible. Whatever the case may be, listen to that little voice. It'll save you a lot of money, okay? All right, guys, thank you very much. Benderwins.com for the full card. Two unit play day. Let's get it done, guys. We are going for 63 wins and 21 losses. Fingers crossed. I wish you guys the best of luck. We'll see you soon.